What is up guys, Stark here, I am back for another video, and in today's video, we are taking a look at the 5th anniversary news for Fate Grand Order Japan. So first of all, <laughs> I can't believe it's been 5 years already. So I have been playing the game since it came out on Japan Day 1, but I did lose my account and I kind of stopped playing, like seriously, until um, Global came out. But uh, it's been 5 years, it's crazy. Uh, it's been a journey. So anyway, um, <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. So we're just going to go ahead and kick right off here with it. Uh, so there is a, a big campaign event uh, that's coming out. So, or I guess it's already out right now as of this recording. Um, so they did the broadcast this morning or last night, depending on your time zone. And unfortunately, I missed the live broadcast. I really wanted to be a part of it, but um, it was at 2 a.m. for me, so I wasn't really able to um, actually to be there for, for that. Um, but you know, it's all right. We're gonna we're just gonna cover some of the things they talked about in this video now. So first up is the event. So. A lot of stuff coming out here so first of all we have a 10 part uh, great campaign event so the first one here is going to be like a login reward uh, so for anyone who has cleared the tutorial before August 11th which would be today um, we've received 90 Saint Quartz so that will be three multis for you for the the new five star character which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video um, but that's pretty cool, it's pretty generous. Um, I think a lot of people got a little crazy with some of the things they were hoping for. Um, it would have been nice if they did like a five theme for things, so you know, have like five multis instead of three. Um, but 90 free St. Quartz, you really can't complain about that at all. Um, it's free, so yeah. So in addition to that, we also do have login bonuses, so every day that you log in, you'll be able to get different rewards. So there's going to be a consecutive and a cumulative login reward. So for the consecutive, you have seven days. So you can get 10 million quantum pieces, 100,000 uh, training friend points. You have uh, 10, like, I don't know, four star embers. You have 10 gold apples and 10 of each of the three star foes and 10 summoning tickets. And then for the cumulative login bonuses, you're going to have 200 mana prisms, one of each of the four star foes and one rare mana prism. So, pretty awesome there. Good stuff, make sure you're logging in every single day. And here's a little bit of a breakdown for that as we go. So next up we have half AP for Ember Gathering, Training, and the Treasure Vault. So, everything's gonna be available for the duration of the event. So, from now until August 17th, you're going to be able to have all daily quests unlocked so you'll be able to farm your embers, your gems, your quantum pieces, and it's going to be half AP as well. So definitely don't waste this opportunity to farm and get all of your servants leveled up, get quantum pieces, get, you know, those gems. Gems are really tricky to farm for, so uh, definitely take advantage of half AP. I'm definitely going to have to um, myself, so make sure you're doing that. Also, uh, it's going to be five times great and super success rates. So that's really cool. There's the five for the anniversary plug. So let's just scroll down a little bit. This is just showing you the schedule, but it doesn't matter because they're all available at all times. So here we go, five times success rate and uh, great and super success rate chances. So perfect. You know, you're gonna get a lot of this. So, you know, feed those embers, level up those servants, get your box the way you want it to be. You got a week to do it. There's no excuses, both for you and for me. So by the end of the week, you know, everyone should have um, significantly better boxes than they did at the beginning of the week. Next up, we do have um, a command code and box storage increase. So you're going to be able to get 50 more command code slots in your inventory. And then you're also going to be able to buy like more expansion slots for your second archive in the Da Vinci Workshop. So that'll be really nice. I think they're extending it 40 times, so you could buy it 40 more times in the shop. Uh, that's gonna be really cool. Be able to get you know more box space essentially. Um, it's always really nice. <laughs> so it makes you know hoarding onto uh, like some of the the craft essences and stuff a little bit easier, where you don't have to get rid of uh, your box space like every every time you do a multi or something. So pretty good there. Next up is gonna be an update to daily quests and 
I'm a really big fan of this update. Uh, so basically what happens is right now in the game, when you complete a daily quest, you get um, mana prisms, but they're, they're different difficulties and different quests and not necessarily something that you want to do. And you don't even have enough AP to do all of them a day without like being like super specific with your AP costs and or using apples. So um, this new update is basically going to eliminate that and just give you a daily quest. So if you complete three quests, you'll get 30 mana prisms. So that's a lot easier. You can just farm whatever you want and get three, or 30 mana prisms rather. So it'll be three separate quests, but you get 10 for each of them. So very simple, very easy <laughs> to get to get. All right, so now we also do have another update here. We're gonna get some more extra missions. So there's a bunch of extra missions here. And I believe this totals to 130 Saint Quartz that you're going to have. Uh, basically, it's just completing the, what's that, Lost Belt 5? I'm not sure which Lost Belts they are, but completing the story and doing strengthening quests and interludes and free quests. So you get 10 apiece for each of these. Um, I have a long way to go before I can get all those. I think I have like 60 something extra quests or extra missions in order to, uh, to get all my Saint Quartz. But on the plus side, that's 600 tank quartz that I have available to me that I need to get. So there's going to be another set of limited master missions that you'll be able to do. And honestly, these are really easy. So we're all masters are getting five more friend slots available to them, regardless of level. Uh, so that's going to be nice. Get a few more friends on your friends list. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have max friends. So now being able to get five extra slots is going to be really nice. And if you do do that, um, you'll end up completing the five quests. You'll be able to get 100 mana prisms and three summoning tickets. So just by adding friends or just sending like random friend requests out and having someone accept it, that counts. So very easy. It's a very easy one and you get some pretty good rewards as well from it. Next up we have an update to how the command code works. Now I'm not 100% sure on this because of like translations and stuff, so feel free to, to correct me in the comments because I am very curious about this. But it looks like they're changing the way that you slot command codes. So from what I understand, when uh, you want to take a command code off of the, uh, the card, you'll get refunded the, the amount of quantum pieces you originally used and the command code opener. So you'll get that back, and then you'll be able to use that again on a different slot. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier. I think you, pretty sure you still have to use the remover item in order to get it off, but you'll get refunded the stuff that you use to put it into that slot. And again, I'm not 100% sure that translation's not really the best for this, and I really don't understand command codes too much to begin with because they're a pretty new thing on NA. Uh, so I'm still getting used to it, but I think that's what it means yeah that's that we also do have a whole bunch of strengthening quests available now it doesn't list all of them for some reason it just lists the last batch uh, so it's going to be the uh, OG fate character batches um, and I will talk about those in a separate video, but um, the other characters that aren't mentioned that got upgrades are going to be um, the Phantom of the Opera and Brynhild. You have Darius and Ryko. You have David and Yu. You have Nezha and Arjuna. Caster Gilgamesh and Musashi, which definitely was very interesting last night when they announced that. Um, and then the last four are the four that I just talked about, the OG servants. Once again, I will make a video about this in the future. Not exactly sure when, there's a lot of other news to cover and a lot more videos to make. But I do plan on making a video for this to cover what exactly is changing between these characters, if it's good or not, and so on and so forth. So we still have a lot more to cover in this event, and this is going to be the big update for the year. Uh, so pretty much every year for the anniversary they have like some really big update to the game that just gives players a load of sand quartz and this year what they're doing is they're actually giving us 
a whole bunch of Saint Court fragments, and that there's like it translates to about well, it translates 1,046 if you've completed everything in the game. Um, but what they're doing is for every arrow in the main quests that you do for that story, like you get one fragment. So for Fuyuki, there's 26 arrows, so you get 26 fragments. And then for like Orleans, there's 50, so you get 50 fragments. Um, this is a really cool update. It's it's definitely a really unique update. Um, but this is a really cool way of getting extra uh, Saint Quartz. And um, definitely that'll help a lot of people out, especially for longtime players who have already completed all this. Uh, it'll definitely still count for you guys as well, and you'll get all of those Saint Quartz fragments, which you can then convert into Saint Quartz and be able to uh, pull more. So not only do you get Saint Quartz for completing the Singularity, you also get fragments for doing the same thing. So they're just adding like even more stuff to finishing these, these story chapters. Uh, so that's going to be really awesome. And then also, um, all main quests from Fuyuki until Atlantis will have their AP costs reduced by half permanently until any changes happen. Okay, so this is actually pretty big. So it's not just a for the event, it's um, it's going forward, all main quests will be cut in half. So that's that's gonna be very helpful for a lot of people to catch up in the story. Um, so that's pretty big actually. <laughs> uh, so let's just keep scrolling down here a little bit further. And then um, we have the GSSR for the year. Um, no free five star ticket of our choice. Uh, that would be pretty awesome, but also pretty broken. Um, what they did instead was they broke it up into five different banners. Well, I think it's five banners anyway. They broke it up into different banners based on the years that the characters were released. So every banner has servants from their specific years. So you have the 2015 to 16 servants. So any, any character released in that time period is going to be on that banner and only those characters. And then from 16 to 17, you have those characters, and so on and so forth. I don't need to explain that to you. Um, I think you guys can figure that out. So, this is interesting. Um, it's hard to tell, like, which one to really go for. Because it's not like a class one where you just pick whatever class you need the most and go from, from there. Um, there's a lot of different characters in these banners, and it's really just a lucky shot. Like, a, you know, just pick a servant you want and just go for it. Um, I will probably make another video on this to like talk about um, which ones you should go for or like which ones I think are good to go for. Um, but me personally, I went for the newest one because I wanted to get um, either Space Ishtar or Musashi or Orion or Astolfo or Sei. Uh, a lot of characters in there that I wanted to get. I won't spoil who I actually got, I will let you guys watch my GSSR video for that. Um, but yeah, that's the one I went for. A lot of characters on there that I actually wanted. Uh, so yeah. In addition to that, there's more to this event. We have a whole bunch of new costumes for characters. So first up, we have Arjuna, who's going to get a new costume. Not a huge fan of this one, honestly, but it is cool to see he got a costume. Da Vinci will also have a costume, and once again, I'm not a, a big fan of this one, honestly. Um, it is cool though, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Next up, we have another costume for the four-star Nero. Uh, this one is really cool. I do like this one quite a lot. We have a costume for Izo, which is absolutely amazing in my opinion. This one is definitely one of the best costumes, uh, especially in this batch. And then finally, we have Paul Bunyan, who is going to get some really bizarre Halloween-esque costume. So these quests are really easy to do, there's just a limited time quest for these characters where you can just go in and complete it. They're very easy so you should have no reason why you can fail these quests and you'll get all your costumes and you're good to go. And in addition to that, Paul Bunyan's event is actually available for those who uh, do not have them. So that's pretty cool, I don't actually have Paul Bunyan on my JP account so I will gladly be farming that event to get Paul Bunyan. Next up, we do have a new craft essence in the shop. Uh, so this is going to be one of those 5,000 mana prisms, or like 1,000 apiece mana prisms that you guys can get in the shop. So this one is going to be able to increase Master EXP gain when clearing quests by 1%. 
And this will also increase your Mystic Code EXP by 1%. So, pretty cool, um, it's going to be one of the ones in the shop, I fortunately don't have enough mana prisms to buy it, but eventually I'll get there and get all of those. And then you also do have a restock of both the regular mana prism shop and the rare prism shop, so uh, you would be able to stock up on those items again if you do have extras laying around. And then we have a trial quest for the new 5 star character, Artoria Pendragon Caster. Uh, so she's gonna be the five-star character for the banner, and she is absolutely broken. <laughs> she's so overpowered. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, you could do the trial quest in order to uh, try her out and get one summoning ticket for uh, your enjoyment. Let's see what else we have here. Not a whole lot else to cover, honestly. Um, there's just that. There's some updates to um, the tutorial. So, uh, I think I did it out of order. Like, this is the tutorial. There's some updates to the tutorial. What is this? Oh, it displays your Saint Quartz and your, your fragments here on the screen um, with the little red box around it. Nothing too special there. Tutorial updates, and that's it. All right, so we do have the banner. Of course we have the banner. Um, so this is going to be for the new five-star caster. Just said that. Arctoria caster. So... Now we have a caster, Artoria, as well. Like I said, she she's absolutely amazing. Um, just a quick little overview, I guess. Her skills, so she increases Noble Phantasm Gauge and attack on her first skill. Her second skill increases Noble Phantasm Gauge and Generation. And her third skill does, I believe, Arts Up. Well, it definitely does Arts Up, and then it does Invincibility. And I want to believe it uh, does something else as well. Um... What else does it do? Increases attack against uh, threat to humanity enemies for three turns. So, and, and these effects don't last for one turn. They last for three turns. It's crazy. And then her Noble Phantasm also increases the attack of all of your allies, removes all debuffs from allies, and then also implies like a um, unpierceable invincibility for an attack. So, like, you can't even get past it with Invincibility Pierce. It's it's ridiculous. Um, so she's a really good character. <laughs> like, Arts, I think Arts uh, decks are going to be making a comeback here. Um, but yeah, she's available from the, uh, today, I guess, until the 17th. And Da Vinci's also going to be on the banner as, like, alternating days with Artoria. Um, I guess because her costume's out, so they wanted to do that. Uh, but yeah, that that's pretty much it for that. Um, what else do I need to cover? I don't think I need to cover too much else. Um, let's see, we went over everything, I think. Yeah, so... That's a whole lot to take in, honestly. <laughs> um... I guess the craft essences, <laughs> there's three new craft essences. Um, let me scroll up a little bit. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and talk about these, I guess, um... So, there's three new craft essences. The the five star one is is pretty good in my opinion. It's gonna be able to increase buster and quick card effectiveness by 8% and also start the battle with 50% of your gauge filled. So that's really good. And then the max limit break for that is 60. Um, so 50% and above for limit breaks for uh, craft essences is gonna be where you wanna be. And it starts there, so that's really good. Uh, it does suck that the stats are kind of spread between HP and attack. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. It would have been nice if it was the other way around. Um, the 4 star is is okay. Um, it increases your normal phantasm damage by 15%. And it'll actually raise the overcharge level by 1. So that's nice. It's only one time it does that though. Um, that one has its pure attack stats for, for that one. So that's pretty solid. Um, I've pulled, I literally pulled this 12 times in my, my pulls. I'm not going to spoil my pulls, but I will tell you that I pulled this a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. And then the three star one is going to be, um, let's see, it adds 50 HP recovery each turn and reduces damage by a hundred. So, you know, it's three star, nothing special there. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this guys. Um, She's really good. I hope um, you guys have enough Saint Quartz to pull for her. 
Oh, there was one more thing that I wanted to mention. Uh, where is it? It's in the news here somewhere. They announced the summer... The summer characters for the next uh, summer event. Um, yeah, here we go. So you have Summer Kiara as the 5 star character, and then you have Brynhild here. And then you have Ilya as another character. And then there's uh, three costumes as well. One's going to be for Sigurd, one will be for Emia, and one will be for this person. And I'm not familiar with this character. They're JP only right now, um, so I'm not sure who this is. But um, they get a costume as well, so... I'm not terribly excited for that batch of characters. Um, hopefully part two will have some better characters. The Brynhild, I'm excited for, but um, I might not go too hard on this on this banner. I'll probably wait for part two to see what happens. Uh, just not really, you know, after anniversary, you know, if, they, if they're gonna make me pull for anniversary and they make me pull again, uh, they really need to do something special there. And Kiara just wasn't cutting it for me. Um, anyway, guys, this video has gone on long enough, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching it. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I have the links below to my Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and Discord, so feel free to check those out. I will have tons of videos coming out for you guys the next couple of days, uh, mostly just polls, anniversary polls, GSR polls, summer BB polls, um, whatever else I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch the next couple of days. I have some days off of work, finally, so I'll be able to do that. So it's going to be a busy week for me, um, so stay tuned, you know, make sure you stay up to date with all the videos, and hopefully I'll see you guys on Twitch for my polls, and if not, I'll see you guys next time.